Oh, my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, popping up to say dinky do to every single one of you. Sunday evening, nothing gets past me, of course, and lots and lots to talk about on the Scotty McClue Shout Out Show. And I shall be with you up until I have to dash off to the Nation Radio Studio for Sunday night's phone in program. So lovely to be with you, and dinky do, excellent to have you with me. Now, uh, as you can see, we need to do lots and lots of sharing from the off tonight just to let people know what's happening. And you can come and join me live here on Facebook Live. This is the big one. What an exciting week it's been. Evening, Scotty, says Tony Mack. Evening, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, pals, says Thomas Hamilton. Carl Carlos Donnelly, a shout out to you, of course. An absolute privilege and a pleasure. Excellent. Love you. And uh, fantastic. Fantastic to have you all with us. There's um, Berta Scott Patton in Port Glasgow. Dinky do to you. John Sheridan. Dinky do. Eddie O'Donnell. Dinky do. Scotty. Hello, Eddie. Lovely to know you're out there. And dinky do to you. Neil Howard. Good evening, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Susan Forrest watching. Good evening, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, big man. Happy days. How are you doing? Says Morris McArdle. Lovely to have you with us, Morris, of course. And uh, James McDade. Good Good evening, Scotty. Hello, James. Lovely to have you with us as well. And uh, Stephen Dodds. Hello, Dinky Doo, my friend. I trust you are well. I am absolutely well. So there you are. Good evening, says the wonderful Neil Greenslade, one of our top broadcasters and a first class manager in the media. It's just me, Andrew Reed, says Gary Boyd. McClure, you need to work harder to win over the people of Oxford. None of them have heard of you. Don't be ridiculous. Of course they've heard of me. Did you go to the university and ask around. Uh, Stuart L. McClure, dinky do from Greenville, South Carolina in the USA. Stuart, lovely to have you with us and dinky do. And uh, bless you too, Neil Greenstead, you top man. Hi, Scotty, can you please tell uh, Lynn Duncan, I love her, from Dumfries. Yes, of course I can. Uh, the weekend looking good. Happy Sunday, Scott, from Gary Boyd Stewart and from the Donuts, Andrew Reed, Andrew Boyle, Hello, big fella. Hello, Andrew Boyle. Dinky do to you. I'm happy to go. There's so many of you coming on. Fantastic stuff. And of course, can we share and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we're broadcasting right now? In fact, let's see about that. Perhaps we need to do a share, guys, as soon as possible, just to let everybody know what is what. Now, I have a very special drink with me tonight. You have to guess what it is. It's not what it looks like. I can assure you. Ooh. So we can have symbols of that when the going gets tough. That's what it's all about. I say, Daniel Trainer, Lisa Anderson, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, do spread the word. Just going for a munch. I'll be back. Ciao for now. Going for a ciao. Munch for now. Uh, that's what we'd say in Scotland anyway. Good evening, dinky do, says Carl Evans. Stephen McKenzie, a very warm welcome from Scotty McClue to you, of course. Pauline Young from Isla. Wonderful. Now, some people say Isla, some people say Aile, but uh, I say Isla. Is that right? From, uh, where are you from, uh, Port Nehaven or Beaumont? Do you think Prince Philip should pay the £100 fine for not wearing his seatbelt while driving as reported in the media? Um, I had to pay the fine. Yes, I mean, millions of people have been stopped. Remember, clunk, click. So there you are. But it depends. If he was driving within the royal estates, I don't think it's actually a problem. So there you are. Uh, we'll see what's what. Shared, says Ian Hales. And uh, a lot of the older generation, of course, they weren't used to seat belts and they feel constricted and, and kind of um, big brothers watching them. But of course, they say it's always a bit safer to have your seatbelt on. Plus, it's the law. Hi, Scotty, says Ian Johnston. Ginger beer, says Ian Hills. No, it's not ginger beer, Ian. But good guess, and it's not what it looks like either. So no smarty pants on here, please. What is Scotty McClure drinking tonight? I ask you, dinky do, Scotty. Hello, from the McClellans, says David McClellan. Dinky do, David McClellan. Lovely to have you with us. And if everybody wants a shout out, come and join Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. The highlight of your week. And certainly 
The highlight of mine, a part, of course, when I'm broadcasting live on Nation Radio, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, through until midnight. Join us tonight, Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM. Uh, Neil Howard, apple juice. No, Neil, it's not apple juice, but it does look like it. Andrew Reid, it's your da, says uh, Stuart Point. You fudged us. Nina Verico, hi, Scotty. Hello, Nino. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty from the guys in Betfred in Linwood. David Steele, Dinky Doo, Neely Davy Cooper McCallum, Honey and Lemon. Nice guess, Neely Daly, Neely Davy Cooper McCallum. There were a bit of a mouthful there, but, um, mm. No, not apple juice. Uh, say hello, says Nino Verico. Say hello. Uh, Neely Davy Cooper McCallum, Honey and Lemon. So there we are. Uh, we've we got here the lip stems. Cost us 65000 for one guy. And Nina Verico is with Brian Farquhar. I think Prince Philip was on a main public road. He was filmed and spoken to by the police. Well, we won't go into all that because we don't know all the details. So there you go. I'm just very glad that everybody's all right and nobody was seriously injured. So there we are. Uh, Brian 70 today. Jim Heron's watching. Wonderful man. Lovely to have you with us, Jim Heron. Uh, Jan Wilson Hilton. There we are. Fantastic. You know, it's uh, Scotty McClure's drinking tonight. I'm just going to do a share. Can you all do a share as well? I don't want to put my coupon too close to the screen and frighten you off. There we are. Wonderful. So I'll just do a share. Excellent stuff. That's sharing nicely. Is the lighting all right tonight? Love you, Scotty, says Neil Howard. I've had loads of fixed penalty points plus a fine. I've had occasions when I've been let off with just a talking to. Love your show, says Nino Verico. Thank you, Nino. That means a lot to me and is appreciated. I think he did it. Oh, for goodness sake, nearly Davy Cooper McCallum. Stop being silly. Please all stop being silly. One or two anti-royalists, anti-monarchists on as well. Dinky do a long time no see. Hope you're well, says Carol Morris. I am Carol and I hope you're well. And a good dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClure, and the rest of the nation. Evening, sir, it's Baltic out there. Do you think the snow's in the way? Well, we've had a flurry and we've had a smir. So there we are. There's a couple of good Scottish ones for you. A flurry and a smir. How was your Sunday, Scotty? Says Neil Howard. Very, very busy, Neil. Lots to do today, of course. The weekends are always very, very busy. Uh, you're as good as still game, says Chris Wilson. Chris Wilson, that's a lovely, lovely thing to say. Colin McMillan, Dinky Doo, Neely David Cooper McCallum. Silly, but got you thinking, Scotty. I'm thinking all the time, Neely David Cooper McCallum. So I don't just need one little bit of stimulus to get me thinking. What's the plural of stimulus? Stimuli, I would say. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, Stephen Dawes, for goodness sake, Scotty, apple juice put me out of my misery. No, it's not. It's, and it's, as I say, it's not what it looks like. And it's very, very refreshing. Ooh. Not apple juice, not ginger beer. So there we are. Who can tell me? Come on and get a shout out. And can we all have a share? Share, 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 share. I'll have maybe another share here. I'll just do a wee bit of sharing. Fantastic. So there we are. And Craig Brown, Dinky Doo, lovely to know you're there. And a very, very warm welcome, of course. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Pear juice. Good one, Chris Wilson. No. So there we are. Sadly wrong. A nice wee scrumpy. No, Neely, Davy, Cooper, McCallum. You know McClure's off the sauce. So no scrumpy. Grape juice. Ian Johnston. Good guess. White grape juice. Sadly wrong. So there you are. It's not that. Uh, Tony Mac, I believe the Queen doesn't need a driving license and hasn't set a driving test. Uh, she's there. Uh, she's immune. Uh, immune, two I and uh, one I and two M, Tony. Immune from prosecution. As driving licenses are issued in her name, yes. But with uh, freedom comes responsibility. Cider, says Craig Brown. No, nope, not cider. And, of course, the Queen has to agree in her uh, oath 
that uh, she will not be breaking the law. Uh, what do we talk about tonight, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thomas Hamilton, there's so much to talk about. Nicola Ahmed wants a shout-out. A shout-out to Nicola Ahmed. Super lagger, says Charles Hay Diver. No, I'm off the sauce. Which part do you not understand? I'm off the sauce. Not alcoholic. Uh, Scotty used to watch you years ago. Uh, can you give a shout out to Graham Watt? Says Nicola Ahmed. I can, Nicola. Absolutely. I give a shout out to Graham Watt. Carmick McCusker. Dinky do and a very warm welcome to you. I know what it is, but I can't remember the name. Powder and hot water. Drank it years ago as a child. No Stephen Dodds. Stephen Dodds. No powder. No hot water. So there we are. Uh, wrong. Wrong. Nobody's got it right yet. So there we are. William Boyce, Dinky Doo, George Clark. The big question tonight is what is Scotty McClure drinking? Not what it looks like. All right. So there you are. And uh, Jane Templeton asking Lawrence says, Shandy, says Lee Shanley. No, Lee Shanley. You just said Shandy because it sounds like Shanley. And you thought you'd get an extra shout out to Lee Shanley if you said Shandy. Uh, apple juice, no, not apple juice. Absolutely not. Not the apple juice. So there we are. Sorry, Andrew. But uh, we have to keep guessing. Can we tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10? More sharing, please. Uh, share to a page. I'll just share to a page. Let them know we're on live. I think that's very important. Jane Templeton. Anyone been up the duff lately? Jane Templeton. There will be lots and lots of people who have been up the duff who are watching tonight and will give you the benefit of their experience. Could it be Elderflower, Scotty? Says Ivan Cohen. Aha! Uh, Ian Johnson, a wee advert there, Red Bull. And to that, Elderflower Cord. Cordial, Stephen Weirmouth. No, it's not the Elderflower. What is Scotty McClure drinking? There it is there. Absolutely. Is it a secret vodka drink? No, Tony Mac. I'm off the sauce. So it's not that. Uh, the lovely Susan Forrest, lemon, water, and honey. Very good guess, Susan Madani. Lemon, water, no. Uh, so there we are. Ginger Ale. Good evening, Scotty. Brilliant chat. Dick, you do. Says Stephen Mulgrew. Water in a dirty glass. Says Nilo Gormley. No. Non-alcoholic beer. Says Chris Wilson. Chris, it would need to be very flat beer. Let's study it for a moment. So there we are. That's it. As I say, it's not what it looks like. Jason Fife. Dinky too, lovely to have you with us. Uh, keep the hands on there, Hipney Scotty. That's what it's all about. Quite right. Got to be your mum's recipe, and you're not telling us. Tea boiled in nettles, says Stephen Dodd. No, Stephen Dodd, don't try that at home, folks. That was for entertainment purposes. Iced tea, says Lee Shanley. No, Lee Shanley, not iced tea. I mind you, years ago, you used to rip them inside of everyone. I swear to God, you're hilarious. I thank you. Who said that? Nicola Ahmed. Fantastic. The water of life, says George Raffin. The Uskaiba. Uskaiba. No, it's not the water of life. Good evening, Scotty, says Thomas Cochrane. Good evening, Thomas Cochrane. Labrador, would you move out the road, please? Sorry, I'm... Uh, and I'm getting a visit from a black Labrador dog. Kunsel juice, says Stephen Spears. No, Stephen Spears, it is not Kunsel juice. Although we love Kunsel juice as a website. Uh, Phil Symes watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, everybody. <coughs> a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, homemade hooch, Scotty's moonshine. I am off the sauce. So there we are, non alcoholic. Is it moonshine? Says Tony Mac as well. Good evening from Hitown in New Zealand, says Josea Tamankaya Ruka Kuka uh, Ovala. There we are, Josea Tamanikaira Kukukukulukovala. Have I said it right from New Zealand? Fantastic. Poor Kari Kariana and um, Chris Wilson. Don't be, don't be coarse, Chris Wilson. It is not P. Hi, Alan, says Stephen Dumdicky to talking to his friend. Is it vegan? Says Thomas Cochran. 
Uh, yes, it actually is vegan, believe it or not. So there is no meat in that drink. So there we are, no meat in your drink to you get it. Meat and drink, it's meat and drink to you. All right, Mark, and how's yours, George Finlay? Excellent, Chris Wilson. Is it P? Chris Wilson, don't be coarse, all right? This is a family show, a good, clean family show. With a bit of smart flung in. Uh, okay, says Chris Wilson. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Pear juice, says Neely David Cooper Callum. No, it's not pear juice. If you've just joined us, Mountain Dew, says George Raffin. No, pine needle juice, says Ian Johnson. Don't try any of this at home, folks. This is for entertainment purposes only. So there are General Mackay Mackay. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Dinky do. What is Scotty McLeod drinking is what we're discussing tonight. Oi, oi, troops, says PC Salve. Good evening, PC. We're all behaving on here. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, that is lush. Thank you, lords. I was once in Belfast and had a taste for Pa Ching. Ah, says Tamanikai. I've got to pronounce your name right. It's beautiful. Josiah Tamanikai Rook. Have I said it right? It sounds like a bit of a hacker to be on Josiah Taman Kaya Kuruku Vella. Yes, wonderful name. What a gorgeous name, New Zealand. Are you North Island or South Island? Dinky do Scotty says Darren Michin. Fantastic. Love to go to New Zealand. Might go tonight. Hi, Scotty. How's your chist now? Says the lovely Julie Shaw. My chist is a lot better, Julie. Thank you very much for asking. Very, very much appreciated. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we're live on the Scotty McClure Show. We're popping up. Scotty McClure's Nightline will be on Nation Radio at 10 o'clock sharp tonight. Phonus, 96.3 on the FM. <coughs> or www.nationradio.scot. Or you can shout out, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. Fantastic. So there we go. Is it cloudy lemonade, says Tony Mac? No, Tony Mac. It's not cloudy lemonade. Tuna water. <laughs> Stephen Dots. No. Who drinks you know what are? So there we are. You need to be stuck in a remote island. Uh, pine needles are high in vitamin C, says Ian Johnson. I'm not surprised, but you'd you'd go around smelling like a horse. Uh, Neil O'Gomley, Lemsip. Oh, advertising there. No, it's not Lemsip. Good McIntyre says, hi. I wouldn't have Lemsip in a glass in case the hot water shattered the glass, cracked the glass. See, very, very important. Mrs. Beaton here, Mrs. Beaton's cookery book. Uh, rather watch paint dry, says Alan Burnett. I think you probably would, Alan, because if you have limited intelligence, something like this would be a wee bit too much for you. So you might be better going back to your two-piece jigsaw and referring to the instructions. So there we are. Uh, Angels share, says George Raffin. Yes, can everybody share this broadcast right now? As soon as you can. Apple cider vinegar, says Chris Wilson. What do I say? Somebody has got it. Show's over, folks. Nothing to see here. Apple cider vinegar diluted heavily with water. Chris Wilson, you must be a genius. So there we are. How fantastic. I used to love your talk show, says Jane Templeton. Well, you'll still love it, Jane. It's on tonight at 10 o'clock, which is in uh, about an hour's time. Looks refreshing, Scotty McClure. Very refreshing. Very good for me. Excellent stuff, because apparently... It, um, it changes inside, it goes from acidic to alkaline, and it's quite good for your tummy. So there we are, apple cider vinegar. Good, glad to hear it, says Julie Shaw. Excellent stuff. Josiah, Yovala. Lovely to have his. Ha ha, a bit north of the islands. I'm of Fijian roots. 
Ah, it's so lovely to have a Fijian person listening in New Zealand. Wonderful. Welcome, 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 I say, to go to Japan or Fiji. Um, the Crinan Canal for me. Remember that. Uh, you can darn your socks while you're still in it in slocks. To go to Japan or Fiji. Apple juice, Betty. No, we've got it, Betty. It's apple cider vinegar, heavily diluted with water. Good evening, Scotty. How are you tonight? Says the lovely Leaf Fern. I am very goodly. How is Barnsley tonight? We ask ourselves. So there we are. Um, is it rinky dinky winky wonky homemade donkey juice? Says Craig Forsyth. Uh, no. Now, a wee toddy, eh, Scotty? LMAO, says Ian Johnston. Absolutely, that's his degrees. What do you think of Scotland in the modern day? Do you prefer this era or 40 years ago? Well, <coughs> I can go back a bit further than 40 years ago. I can actually go back, although I'm only 34, I can go back 50 years ago. And I remember at this time of year we changed from um, steam trains to... Uh, Electric chain, a uh, trains, the electric chains. Pickle juice, yeah, after a fashion, Lee Shanley. Jim Joplin, Dinky Do Scotty from Germany. Ah, yes, nicht aussprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Fantastic stuff. Um, apple juice, no, apple cider vinegar. Uh, what's it taste like, Scotty? Julie Shaw, it's absolutely delicious. Never, ever, ever. Have it neat because it can burn your trachea uh, and, and your esophagus, I should say. Not your trachea, that's your windpipe. Your esophagus, your food pipe. So what you do is you just a tiny little drop and lots and lots of water. So I've got my highball glass here and a tiny, tiny drop in the bottom. Topped it up with the water, the aqua, the H2O. The Adam's Ill, and it is quite delicious and very, very refreshing. Uh, Ian Johnson, very good for the kidneys and liver. Well, I'm going to see her and get a bit of the beef off, because for a 34-year-old man, I'm carrying a lot of muscle. There you are, very, very little fat, but tremendous muscle. You see, big fella. Um, Pam Richardson, the wonderful, wonderful lady watching Dinky Do. I say to you, Pam Richardson, uh, would never have got it. Bon appetito, says Stephen Dodds. No, a really difficult one to get, Stephen. That's why I thought I'd do that. Is my hat shining too much? I'm going to change the lighting. I'm going to put off the big light and see if that's okay with you. Is that better or is it too dark? How is the lighting now? Level with me. Uh, you know, I mean, front up and do tell me. So, you were on the cider. Well, no, apple cider vinegar, you see. So it's not actually alcoholic. It's a nice tasting, Scotty, says Nicola Ahmed. It's fantastic, Nicola. It's a lovely, lovely thing and it just kind of, refreshes you. You know when you have maybe something like vegetable juice or lemon juice in your body goes, oh, aye, aye, hello, something lovely is happening to me. I'm getting a present for the first time in about 30 years. That sort of thing. Because, you know, everybody's stuffing themselves with the pizza and all that stuff that doesn't actually do you a great amount of good. LMAO had to ask, says Craig Forsyth. No, Craig, wonderful. You winner. You are a winner. How are you doing, Scotty? Says William Porteous. Fabulous, William. Thank you. Can we all have a share? I'm just going to share again. And um, I'll share to a page. There we are. Scotty McClue's page. We're just sharing here, folks. Uh, if you could do the same, that'll let everybody know we're live. <coughs> because only a tiny, tiny amount of Facebook. Uh, Jane Templeton says, I can't believe I found you again after all these years. I will definitely be listening tonight from Worksop. I know Worksop so well. Now, are you actually in Nottinghamshire when you're in Worksop, Jane? Face up, you know, do tell, spill the beans, let the cat out the bag. Barnsley's just fine, Scotty, very cold, but fine. Barnsley, I do like Barnsley, Lee Fern. I lived very close to Barnsley. So there you are. 
Excellent stuff. Hi, Chapel Town. So there we go. Uh, so you're going on the chase, or do I have to chase you on it? Says Stephen Dodds. I did see there was an advert for people for the chase, but when I went to click on the link, it seemed to have disappeared, so they maybe got absolutely inundated and overwhelmed with people wanting to go on the chase. I think I might make a good chaser. So there you are, a chaser. <coughs> Ooh, fantastic. Uh, Tony Richardson, Dinky Doo, Josiah, Tamanikai, Ruku, Ruku, Iovalau. Um, I say to you, Dinky Doo and poor Kari Kariana, um, have a great night, Scotty and friends. Uh, another night we shall join you, Josiah. That would be lovely. Mwah! And a big hacker to you. Ooh, ooh, ha. Huh. He, he, there you go. Fantastic. Uh, the lighting's so much better, says Craig Forsyth. Is that because you see less of me, Craig? There are, uh, he, he, see what I just did there. Um, the wonderful John Toms is watching. Dinky Doo, fine fellow. And uh, David Randall, Alan McGee, lighting's fine, Scotty. Nearly read your CD collection behind you. Marvellous. Oh, I've got some great stuff. Worth about 20 pence. Um, good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful David Randall. And uh, what's my price? Spelling prize wrong, Chris Wilson. Your prize is to get to watch Scotty McClue right to the end of the show, and then you've two prizes at 10 o'clock sharp. Your next prize is to tune in to Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM or www.nationradio.scot on the internet and listen to two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment from me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, live on the radio, just for you, dinky do. Yes, workshop is Nottinghamshire, Sir so Jane Templeton. Fantastic. Very close to Sheffield, though. I used to nick to workshop, uh, workshop if I needed something <coughs> for the computer or what have you. Um, I've got my haggis pies for Buns Night, Captain. Ooh, now, George Raffin, I was just going to say, I think we need to celebrate Buns Night live on the radio because it's this Friday night, the 25th of January. So we will be piping in the haggis and people will maybe be singing a song, giving us a Buns rendition, Holy Willie's Prayer, Tam O'Shanter, to a mouse, to a louse, all that sort of stuff. Don Prince and Paul Francis Carroll. It's another Scotty pop-up. Paul McGuinness got it in one. Nothing gets past you. Fantastic. Aha, says Paul Francis Carroll. Aha, I say. Uh, Alan McGee says, I'm going into hospital soon, Scotty. We'll listen to you to keep me going whilst I start a 10-week recovery. Alan McGee, you get strong and well. We send you strength. From the universe, we send you love and we say, keep going, keep on, strong and well, Alan McGee. That's what's the future for you. I will do, says Chris Wilson, you better. Do you get recognized, says Craig Brown, all the time, all the time? Yes, you know, maybe a neighbor will come up and say, oh, I know you, um, or... um. Oh, everything, you know, with all that sort of stuff. I need to go now, Scotty. I'll be joining you on the night shift. Catch you on Nation, says Darren Meekin. You'd better, Darren. Everybody, let's share again, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Share to a page. <coughs> so many pages. I've got a page called Dinky Doo. You should get on there. I've got the World's Top Talk Show. Get on there as well. I've got the broadcast page. Michelle Hawkin. Look, it's Scotty McClure. Mind years ago, we used to phone in. Absolutely, Michelle. Thanks, Nicola, for that. Tony Mac, I nearly got a £100 fine for not wearing my seatbelt as I put some weight on and couldn't get my belt on. I got a belt extender and it's sorted. The seatbelt stops you going through the windscreen. Rocking the bonnet, says Finley Lamont. Absolutely, or Lamont. What a wonderful name to have. Done it, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you. Can everybody share, 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 share. S Mac 4 p.m. 
So there we are. Oh, yes, Scott Ferguson wants Scotty McClure to be the Prime Minister. I'll tell you, I would be ringing up the EU and negotiating Remain. All right, because this whole Brexit thing has been an embarrassment and it's been very badly handled. So there you go. Hi, Scotty, you're on the radio tonight. I can't wait to get my Sunday fix from Lee and Scott. Lee Sinclair, tonight, 10 o'clock sharp. Uh, Chris Wilson says, sorry for saying P. I was just joking. I should think so. Chris Wilson, a joke, a merry jape, a wee bit of Scottish banter. Um, I knew it was apple cider vinegar, as my mother drinks it all the time. Aha! Well diluted, of course. Thank you, Chris Wilson. So you were being a fun star, a merry jape star. We like that. Uh, a full moon show. Yeah, full moon, the big one. Some people say the start of the end of the world. So there we are. I do hope the world does not end because I enjoy it. A uh, full moon show should be interesting later. Yes, Stephen Dodds, because if a moon can have an effect on the tide and suck the water uh, on and off the beach, I'm sure it can have an effect on people's brains. So we might get some genuine lunar people on tonight. Loony people on tonight. I don't mean that in any disparaging way. We might get some loony people on tonight because they're affected by the full moon. Ho! Oh, it's a good full moon, apparently, for Scotty McClure. So there we are. Should be interesting, Stephen Dodds, I agree. 904 pals, says Thomas Hamilton. Thanks for that, Thomas, if you could keep me abreast of the time. So I want me to push off and get to the studio. Are you still working with the wizard, says Craig Brown? I am Craig Brown. I have a wonderful, wonderful wizard of the big switchboard. What a top man. Hello, Scotty. Why not you run, why not you run as an MP? You have been better than any of them. Would you like to see Scotty McClure be your MP? So there we are. Save the world. I keep my stuff there. Oh, dear, says somebody. Stephen Anthony Charles Rodriguez. <coughs> oh, dear, made the mistake of ordering takeaway food. Uh, the kids like it. Why can't you order steak? So there we are. Foreign food. Douglas McPherson. That's a very strange thing to say, foreign food. Food of the world. Fantastic. What radio station are you on tonight? This is Christy McChain. Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM, across central Scotland, or www.nationradio.scot on the internet. What's this, says Brendan Dempster. This, Brendan Dempster, is the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, popping up with 167 or 68 of his Sunday shows, which you have missed. So I shall be saying to you, Brendan, what's this? And um, thanks for your kind wishes to my mum recently, We Sandra in hospital. She's back home. If you could send her some best wishes, Sandra Mack. Dinky do, I say, from Scotty McClure and the rest of the universe. Too right, I'd vote for you, says Arthur Adlam. You should audition for Still Game. Well, that hat, says Brendan Dempster. I know, Brendan, I've got a running gag I would do. I'd go into the Klansman and say, Hello, Bobby, how are we getting on? And I'd say, What can I get you, Scotty? I say, I'll have a pint of your finest landlord. And for my friends Jack here and Victor, Nothing! So there we are. That would be my running gag throughout Still Game if I was invited on. MP, you've got my vote, says Catherine Mackay. Yes, Scotty, the food of the world stuff is not quite my cup of tea these days. No, Douglas McPherson, but it's millions of other people's cups of tea. And remember that although you might be watching in Scotland, this is going out universally, worldwide. There are people watching us in... Uh, New Zealand. Yes, a gentleman from Fiji earlier. I'm a good psychic, Scotty. I can clearly see past the quite accurate. Numpty hit. You should have known that was coming. And so should I, because I'm a wee bit septic myself. Um, Kevin Wiggum. Hi, Ian Johnston. A big smirky smiley. We like that. Is that what you call um, an emoticon? 
There we go. And is that just a smiley? What's the difference between an emoticon and a smiley? Uh, Carol Key is watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Right, get it sharing, guys. I want these numbers up, okay? They'll go up. I mean, we had 6,500 last week and about 17,500 of you the week before. But let's get these numbers up right now tonight. So get share, share, share. If you're watching right now, Share this video right now. Uh, good evening, Mr. McClure, says Chris Time. Good evening, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClure. Wonderful stuff. Right, another share coming up. I'm going to share to, you'll like this, the World's Top Talk Show. Oh, fantastic. Right, there it goes. Just shared. And the rest of you can share as well. Uh, Brendan Dempster says his dad is in the, I can't quite read it, three letters. Um, so there we are. Um, what's that say? Difficult to read. Anyway, are you going for a knighthood? So Scotty has a nice ring to it. Tony Mac, it wouldn't actually affect me. I always think of Burns' words, um, you know, about the uh, rank is but the guinea stamp. The man's the goud for all that, the man is the gold, the person is the gold. I'll tell you, most people don't get knighted until they're very, very, very elderly and near to death. And I think to myself, I would only accept a knighthood, probably a KCVO, because that's in the gift of Her Majesty the Queen. That's a personal gift, a KCVO or a GVO. And I would only accept that if I could do good with it for other people. So there you are, because with freedom comes responsibility, as we all know. How's your night, Algen, says Brendan Dempster. Fantastic, Brendan, and dinky do Welcome, welcome, if it's genuinely your first time, but I suspect we've seen you before. Uh, sorry, missed that there, Scotty. What's the radio station again? What time? 10 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock sharp, Nation Radio, 96.3 FM. Across central Scotland. I used to listen to you every night years ago, and it was brilliant. Are you back on the radio? Yes, James Logan. We're just telling everybody tonight, 10 o'clock sharp, Nation Radio 96.3 FM across central Scotland, or, <coughs> pardon me, or very, very important, um, www.nationradio.scot if you're listening online or download Radio Player and put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland, or tune in and just put in Nation Radio Scotland. And I shall pop up tonight, talk to you, and you can phone in at Scotty McClure's Nightline. I say, hello, Jordan Reed. We are the people. Absolutely, Jordan. Um, who else have we got? Say hello to Jordan. So Jordan Reed, I've just said hello, Jordan Reed, absolutely. And you've put that, they've put the same announcement in half a dozen times. Uh, Michelle Hawking Free Winshaw uh, is in the house. Well, Def will be listening 10 o'clock tonight on the dot, mm -hmm. says Nicola Ahmed. I know. I'll have to go and get ready soon. Say hello to Jordan Reed. Yeah, Jordan, we've got that now. That's enough. That's half a dozen times you've put that in. You deserve an award for bringing quality talk radio to the Scottish people, says Tony Mac. I thank you, Tony Mac. Do you know, I've never, ever, ever had anything in my life. And on the radio, they used to put people up for all these awards. People would win. A clue was never even put up for any of them. Uh, Scotty, I found out I can be a lord if I buy a small portion of land in Scotland. Certificate the lot. Yes, of course you can. Uh, here we go, ten in a row. Uh, cut a lemon in half and put it into an apple cider vinegar. It will taste amazing. Dinky do. Says Chris Wilson. I thank you, Chris Wilson. And thank your mother, Chris. Love you, mate, says Catherine Mackay. Thank you, Catherine Mackay. And dinky do to you from Scotty McClure and the rest of the world. Uh, talk soon, says Catherine. Absolutely. Dinky do, I say. Now, let's get sharing. Let's get the numbers up a little bit. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live just for you saying dinky do. I'm just going to share to a group on here, guys. Share to a group. Share. So there we are. We'll do a bit of sharing and we can get that all sorted. Very, very important. Who dat nation? 
Uh, Huma, Louisiana, Go Saints, says Sarah Dwaran Collins. Dwaran Collins. Great names. Michael D. Buns, say hello to Jordan for a seventh time. No problem, Michael D. Buns. I think Jordan's had plenty of shout outs. He's done extremely well. He must have got himself about 40% of the program to himself. I'm just going to put a group in here, guys, so we can uh, let them know. Share to a group. And I'll share to the Scotty McClue group and let them know what's happening here. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh, Scotty. There we are. Excellent. Sorry about that. Had to just dash on to a bit of sharing. I'll get this down to a fine art someday. I'm always saying that, aren't I? Get down to fine art. Thank you to Chrissy's Mall, says Michael D. Bums. Absolutely. Great show says Colin McPherson. Thank you, Colin. Very, very much appreciated. We just get a handful of people watching and then thousands join us during the week. Um, say hello to Kerry, says Gary Stevenson. Oh, them mad CDs, man. Absolutely, Michael D. Burns. Quality, quality all the way. Never a dull moment, I say. <coughs> Right, that's posted as well. Just let you all know. Not heard of you in years, says Bob Hunter. Well, here we are, Bob. Here I am, as large as life itself. Uh, Numpty Heed, they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. I don't think it's funny, Numpty Heed. I hope you're all right there. Dinky Doo, mate, says Michael D. Buns. And Dinky Doo to you, Lala. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's happening, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Jacqueline Trotter is watching Dinky Doo, Jacqueline. Lovely to have you with us. And um, it would be great if this went out to every single person on Facebook so that they know what to expect. That's what I think is important. Fantastic. We're up show number. It must be 167. 9.15, pals, is Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. If you can let me know when it's getting near to the half hour, I shall push off. Before you go, happy birthday to my lovely niece, Holly, please, says Stephen Dodds. Holly, happy birthday and dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. <coughs> that Gordon Herd is listening in, famous footballer chap. Hello, Mr. Gordon Herd, says Douglas McPherson. Hello to you, Douglas McPherson, Mr. Herd. Huh? Oh, I like to be heard. You've got to be heard. Fantastic. Join us 10 o'clock sharp tonight, folks, live on Nation Radio. Neil Gormley says it's my birthday on Bonds Day. Excellent stuff, the 25th of January. So there we go. Welcome. So you're a Capricorn. Um, can you give a shout out to my Colombian wife, Marcella, says Chris. Absolutely, Marcella. And dinky do. I've been enjoying the Celtic connections. I'm involved in a radio station covering the music festival. Uh, just wondering if you like the festival, traditional, original music from home and afar. Loved it for many, many years, Tony. What's your views on Brexit, Scotty? I've actually been on Celtic Connections one time back. I'm sure it was Celtic Connections. I was interviewed with uh, the wonderful Leslie Riddick and the wonderful Elaine C. Smith. So there you are, top actress and top journalist. Leslie Riddick, top journalist. And Elaine C. Smith, top actress. What's your views on Brexit, Scotty? If you reply, no comment. I totally understand. No, no, no. If I was in charge of the country, and you'll not like this, some of you, I would make a call to um, Jean-Claude uh, tomorrow morning to uh, Mr. Juncker. And I would say to him, sorry about all the misunderstanding and the mess. We're going to remain, but we'd like a better deal on agriculture and fisheries. Ag and fish. But we shall be remaining within the EU because it was difficult enough to get in in the first place. And I would have said, somebody was asking the other day, would Winston Churchill have been a remainer or a lever? I suspect he'd have been a remainer. And his wonderful son-in-law. Um, was also part of the architect of this country, joining the common market in, was it, 69? 
Uh, Mon the Curry, said Sean Lawrence. Absolutely. And um, Vicar Sharples listening in the southeast of England. Send some dinky doo cents, <laughs> says Jerry Barr. Uh, Aquarian, says Neil O'Gormley. Yes, I suppose you will be, Neil. You'll just be on the cusp there, quite right. Uh, gentlemen, a dying breed, Scotty, no matter if people disagree with your royal stance, you believe in an independent Scotland. I do, I think, economically, Scotland could do extremely well. But I'm also very fond of our English neighbours and our Irish neighbours and our Welsh neighbours. Very fond of them all. I'm a people person. I'm not interested in too much conflict. But I will say to you, uh, we should remain in the EU. And uh, I also think that um, economically, independence would suit Scotland. And um, I believe very, very strongly in the royal family. I cannot understand the half-witted idiots who are anti monarchy and who get things a bit mixed up. I mean, the rubbish that they've been talking since Prince Philip was involved in the accident the other day, just total rubbish, because nobody knows exactly what happened. They'll have to piece it together, and it's actually nobody else's business, as long as nobody was seriously hurt. Scotty, can you say hello to my boyfriend? Uh, Craig Bruns is Kirsty McShane. Uh, Kevin Clifford Dinky Do. Jason Dogleish. Scotty, I met you many years ago when you visited uh, McDonald's and Motherwell, says Kevin Clifford. I did. I did, Kevin. I've visited a few, I can tell you, since then. <laughs> but there we are. But uh, we're on the old health kick. Um, several stone of solid muscle here. So please don't get in the road if you see me running. Keep well, well out the road. So yeah, it's quite difficult to stop these days. Um, if I was pensions minister, Scotty, I'd have you working seven days a week for your pension. Says Numpty Heed, Numpty Heed, I work seven days a week for my pension. So you don't need to be pensions minister. Is the radio show tonight a phone-in show? Yes, Gary Stevenson. Phone in as much as you like. 0141. 811-0475 0141-811-0475 I think it's good you can listen to all sides of an argument a lot of presenters don't like people disagreeing with them no no you've got to see other people's point of view even if they will never see yours so there you are Tony that's McClure's rule for broadcasting very, very important. Richard McCusker, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, the one of stop broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. Watch your time, you don't want to be done for speeding, says Stephen Dodds. No, you're right, Stephen, I do not. Dinky do, says Gary Stevenson. Dinky do, Gary, lovely to have you with us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to do one now. And uh, get to Nation Radio. Very important. Get to my studio and uh, entertain you all and amuse you all for two superb scintillating hours of information, education, and entertainment. Ian Johnson, I'm not half witted, but wouldn't partake in that, Scotty, for sure, as it serves no purpose. What are you talking about, Ian? Wouldn't partake in what? Aye, on ye says Craig McGee. I own you and all, Craig McGee. Thank you, do, I say. Right, I'll sing you the song. What's the time? Oh, it's time to go. Can you all share again? Let's have another share. Are we ready? I keep sharing all week. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. 921. Goodbye, everybody. Of winter's in. Au revoir and a cheerio. Thank you do, my darlings. Take care of yourselves. Mwah. Have a fabulous week and we will all meet up again soon. Get yourselves tuned in to 96.3 FM, Nation Radio, www.nationradio.scot and I will speak to you on Scotty McClure's Nightline at 10 o'clock sharp. Bye, Custom McShane. Bye, Dinky-Doo.